difference between high and low intensity infrared heaters is based on the operation of each. High intensity heaters emit energy at a higher amplitude and temperature than low intensity heaters and typically operate unvented. In a high intensity system, thousands of tiny flames pass through a perforated refractory surface, blanketing the surface of the emitter, producing temperatures of up to 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. In a low intensity heating system, a flame is ignited within an exchanger, producing hot exhaust gases, which travel through the tubing reaching temperatures of up to 1,350 degrees Fahrenheit, emitting infrared energy. Low-intensity heaters are commonly direct vented. In both systems, heat energy is directed to the floor level via reflectors before being absorbed by people and objects in its path. High-intensity heaters are also known as spot heaters, box heaters, ceramic heaters, and luminous heaters. In addition to being cost-effective and simple to install in retrofit applications, they are effective in heating large open spaces due to their intensity and ease of installation. While their simplicity makes them an option for total building heating, the high output per square foot makes these units excellent for spot heating as well. There are several types of high intensity infrared heaters, each developed to accommodate a specific application and area. Infrared space heaters are best applied in buildings with high ceilings and areas where there is demand for a high heat load such as loading docks or bay areas. Patio heaters are used to provide aesthetically pleasing indoor and outdoor spot heating to areas such as restaurant patios, decks, and vestibules. Portable heaters are mounted to a 20-pound LP tank and are designed for outdoor use or well-ventilated inside areas under construction. They're ideal when temporary heat is required or where a permanent energy source is not available. Electric infrared heaters are commonly used in areas where gas is impractical or unavailable. They produce heat and light by running an electric current through a high-resistance element. Low-intensity heaters, which are also known as radiant tube heaters, push tubes, tube brooders, or stick heaters, are a cost-effective and energy-efficient heating solution and can be configured to accommodate numerous commercial, industrial, and select residential applications. They're effective in low bay areas and are often used for total building heat. Because of their durability and reliability, they're also an excellent choice for car washes, patios, and vestibules. Additionally, the soft heat patterns they produce have proven well in agricultural applications. For each intended application, there are several types of low-intensity infrared heaters, each developed to accommodate specific application types. A force draft system operates under a positive pressure, pushing the products of combustion through the length of the exchanger tubes. This type of infrared heater is easy to service and install because all the components are housed in one compartment. A draft-induced tube heater operates under negative pressure, pulling the products of combustion through the length of the exchanger tubes. As such, it offers reliable performance in high wind applications and sometimes can allow for extended vent runs. Like a draft-induced system, multiple burner systems operate under negative pressure, pulling the products of combustion through various runs of radiant exchanger tubing via a powerful vacuum exhauster pump. This type of infrared heater is used when minimal building penetrations are required or if extended vent runs are necessary. Whatever your heating needs, there's an infrared heating system to match. Visit Reverberate.com to learn more about our many lines of infrared heaters. Factory trained representatives are also available to assist in the proper selection of infrared heating equipment for your application.